Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review. Uh, our good friends at Tyco Run uh, sent me a battery to check out. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it, see what it can do, and, uh, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so let's see what's in the box. We got some nice inch thick fire styrofoam. And the battery. All right. And that looks to be it. The M8 bolts are already on there. A nice carrying strap. And there is how it looks. All right, one thing I noticed about this battery uh, while unpacking it is that it does not come with any kind of documentation. Uh, the only documentation that you're probably going to find is either, uh, you know, how you bought it, which, uh, you know, sold like on the Amazon site, or uh, all of the documentation that's just on the front of the battery. So let's go ahead and look at what's on the front of the battery. It says nominal voltage is 12.8 volts. Uh, nominal capacity is 100 amp hours. So if you multiply those together, you will get the watt hour capacity, which is 1280. Uh, the, the charge voltage, so that means uh, what it means what the what the voltage of the battery will be when it's completely full that is 14.4 uh, and it says 14.6 is the very maximum the charging current is the maximum amount of amps that you can charge the battery and that is 70 amps uh, the next line says uh, standard and max charge standard means what you should typically charge it at which is around 20 amps and the max charge again is 70 amps. Uh, when it comes to the discharge rate, uh, the continuous and peak discharge rates are um, 100 amp hours is continuous. So you can discharge this entire battery in one hour. Uh, and it says that the peak discharge is uh, 300 amps and that's for three seconds. So it can do a burst of 300 amps, but only for three seconds. Uh, this pack does not have any kind of heating function. So you want to uh, charge it at anything above freezing. So zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And the max operating temperature is 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum discharge temperature that you should be operating this battery at is negative 20 degrees Celsius which is minus four Fahrenheit. And the maximum temperature that this battery should discharge at is 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And the weight of this battery comes in at right around 27 and a half pounds. One thing I do notice about this battery is that it has, it has Bluetooth capability. So we're gonna go ahead and scan this Android QR code and uh, see where that gets us. All right, here we go. Takes us right to the Google Play Store, so let's install and open. Okay, now here's a list of all my stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and go with, uh, let's go ahead and go with Vigor C. I guess that's not it. Let's go with 15206. And there is our battery. The name, I noticed, I, I think the name of the battery is, that's pretty horrible, 15206. Uh, okay, let's, let's go ahead and look at this battery uh, app. At the top, you can definitely see that that's a state of charge indicator, uh, but it says 0%, which is weird. The voltage is 13.024. The current is zero. The rated capacity is 100 amp hours. But that's just the rated capacity. That's not the true capacity of the battery. It says cycles one time. And then at the bottom it shows, uh, I guess that's the charging MOSFETs, which are on. 
and the discharging MOSFETs, which are on as well. And then it shows the temperature of the battery, which is 17 degrees Celsius and 18 degrees Celsius. I'm guessing one of those temp monitors is on the cells and one is probably on the BMS. So let's um, go ahead and charge this battery up to full and then do a discharge test. All right, I have my Ardroid uh, 30 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. I'm gonna go ahead and start charging it and we'll also see kind of what the app does as well. Okay, it looks like the app is actually pretty responsive. It's showing the voltages going up. Uh, the current going into the battery is right around 30 amps. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if we turn off the charging MOSFETs to see if it stops charging. <laughs> Not support, okay. Let's see if we can just move it. Huh, okay. Okay, well, it looks like this app can't actually stop the battery from charging or discharging. So that's unfortunate. Oh, we can switch it to Fahrenheit. We'll go ahead and do that. Since, we, since I live in the United States. Uh, settings, let's go to settings. Input password. Um, let's just try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Password error. Okay. So, uh, you need a password in order to get into the settings. Let's see. Let's go to, um, details. Details, you need to put a password in also. So, kind of stuck there. And how about about? Do we need a password for that? Okay, and then about basically just shows the version number, the release date, which is October of 2022, so the, the battery's pretty new. But that's not the battery. I'm probably guessing that is the app. And then we can search for devices, which I don't want to do because I'm already connected to the battery. Okay, well, when this is charged up fully, I'll come back. All right, well, our Tyco Run battery is now completely charged up to 100%. It's resting at 13.55 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a discharge test. So let's get that set up. And for this test, we're going to be using the Cooler Master DC battery tester. And if you've never used one of these before, they're super easy. You just take your battery, take your tester. Here's the AC to give it power. And you'll just need a couple of cables to connect the tester to the battery. Let's switch it around. Makes it easier. Connect the negative. And it really doesn't, I, don't, I personally don't think it really matters what, in what order you connect everything. As long as you do n don't connect the two wires and just leave them hanging like this from the battery. Because if they touch, then you get a short and you do not want that. So I'm just going to connect the negative. Tighten it down, and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the negative of the tester. And you can tell on the tester, there is a V plus N on this one and a V minus N on this one. So the negative will go right here. And we'll just slide it in here. Tighten it down. We'll go ahead and take our positive. Tighten it down and connect it to our positive. All right. And then all we got to do is plug in the power. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay. And after you get it uh, turned on, you want to go ahead and reset the values so everything's back to zero. Just hold this button and it sets everything back to zero. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to increase the amperage up to 10. The knob on the top is your course setting, so it like it moves up a lot with a little bit of a turn. And then the one at the bottom is for fine tuning. And there we go. 
So we're going to do a 10 amp test. So this should take roughly 10 hours to complete. Um, on this screen, you can see that we're currently pulling 132 watts from the battery. That's the number of watt hours that have been pulled from the battery. That's the total number of amp hours that have been pulled from the battery. And this right here is the amount of time that the test has been running. So we'll come back when the test is done. All right, well, it's next morning. And uh, I came down here to check the tester to see what the results of the battery discharge were. And my tester is not turned on. You can see it's, it's plugged in. Uh, but the tester is not turning on, like it doesn't have any power. I wonder if it burned up during the test. So, but the battery, I believe, is dead because I can't connect to it via Bluetooth. So I'm going to try to jump this battery and um, check the tester, but we'll do that later because we're concerned more about the battery. But uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to test the capacity of the battery again. So I'm going to have to charge it back up and then we'll do another test. Oh, yeah, I got great news. Well, great news for me because, I mean, you don't care how long this stuff takes because I do all the editing and stuff like that. But I was able to get my uh, battery tester up and running again so I can find out the results to this test. So let's check it out. The results of this test. You can see that this battery pulled 102.79 amp hours and that is 1,315 watt hours. And the test took 10 hours and 14 minutes. Now I know you're all wondering, how in the world did you get your tester working again? Well, let me just tell you that real fast. What I determined is that the, pretty much the, the power supply to the tester burned up because I plugged it in and I basically plugged in because I, I don't know how to really test these just like this with a multimeter. So I plugged it into here. So I have a couple of, couple of ports that I could test it through. And I found out there is absolutely no voltage going through this. So this thing burned up. But what I was able to do, what I was able to do is use my variable DC power supply and power it up to exactly the specifications of that plug. So nine volts at one amp and then I just used some alligator clips, which I do not recommend this because not safe, but for right now it's fine because I'm, I'm not moving it around. And then I plugged it in using uh, just a, uh, another plug that I just made. And yeah, this thing turned right back on. So the tester's fine, it's just the power to it is dead. All right, well, this Tyco run battery is charging back up. And uh, I just want to let you know that for the price, I think it's like $390 right now. Um, and again, depending on when you watch this video, the price will change. But for that money, uh, you know, you can't really go wrong. It's 100 amp hours, 12 volts. Uh, it has Bluetooth capability. Even though the app that it connects to is pretty limited, it doesn't let you turn off charging or discharging. You can't get into the settings to change any kind of BMS settings. All you can really do is uh, look at the state of charge and the voltage and the amount of amps that are going in or coming out of the battery at that time. So very standard. But you know, it passed the capacity test. It gave us 102 amp hours, which is great. Um, it does say that you can get up to 4,000 cycles guaranteed and up to 5,000 cycles uh, until you get to 80% of its full capacity. Also, you know, I don't mind the color, the gold color, uh, you know, it kind of gives it a little bit of a splash. It can, it can stand out from the other just standard black batteries that, you know, that most manufacturers make. Until I'm able to do a little bit more testing on this battery, I give it a thumbs up because it does exactly what it said it was, it was going to do. Uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.